I just want to also just round off that other part to say that we are totally yes, unhappy with how this thing went down. Um, we think it is a travesty of justice, an abuse of state power, and they're taking advantage of a man who always wears his red. And I asked the question, if they would yes, do that to him, mm -hmm. wouldn't they do it too? Mm -hmm. So we're calling for answers as far as the material that was used to build the branch office is concerned. Mm -hmm. We're asking for answers. Yes, I'm calling on the current is. MP to stand up and state publicly whether as a matter of fact any material that was used to construct the this branch office, whether any of that is. came from the stock that was destined for Barbuda after the passage of Hurricane Irma. I am asking him to stand up and this to give an Antigua answer unequivocally to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Did any material which was used to construct the branch office, did any of that come this from the Antigua stock Breaking of material for Barbuda, which was stored at public works and which was transported from public works in a white truck? I can give the this name of the Antigua driver. Breaking I can give the number, <laughs> the registration number of the vehicle. I can give you the name of the builder. And I can give you the name of at least two people who worked on that project. And I can also tell yes. you who was at public work. So I'm calling on the member of parliament for City East, Mr. Melford Nicholas, to come to the public and make a clear declaration. Yes. Is it true? Yes or no? And if it is yes, we want you to explain why is it that that material was used when the suffering people of yes, Barbuda were denied for many, many uh, months, in some cases years, the opportunity to get proper housing due to shortage of material. Mm -hmm. That's now, all I'm asking him to do. Clear your name. Come and say, tell, say, tell to the people that nothing goes up.